Good morning, everybody, and welcome to what I cannot call a theological leftover today. Uh, sorry for the echo, and I hope the sound isn't bad, but we're in the room next to my office that we are slowly turning into a, a prayer chapel. And the primary purpose of this particular room now is to provide our members with the opportunity uh, to come in privately, um, to be able to confess sins, especially sins that they're struggling with, and to be comforted with the words of Christ's absolution, of Christ's forgiveness. Um, we have um, taking advantage of the gifts from congregations that have closed to be able to do this, the wonderful crucifix, um, almost everything here at the table, um, everything but the two pictures over there um, are um, in the banner that was made. Everything else is from a sister congregation that was generously donated to us so that we're able to uh, transform this kind of nondescript little room um, eventually into something that I hope is, is used quite a bit. And, and I wanted to share it with you, um, especially with our members, um, because it's a hard thing. I understand we are not used to doing this. We're used to confessing our sins at the beginning of the worship service altogether in kind of a gener in a general way, which is great, and I'm not trying to diminish that. We value going to the Lord's table to receive the forgiveness of sins. We recognize because we are baptized children that we can go to God directly and he will hear our uh, repentance uh, and he's faithful to his promises. He's just and he will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all righteousness. But there are times um, when, when we need to hear our name attached to that wonderful promise of the forgiveness of sins. And we need it to come from somebody else's mouth because we're struggling and, um, and we need help with that. Um, this is one of the primary purposes of, of a pastor. And, um, and that's why we're setting this room aside. For now, um, there is an opportunity once a month, usually it's the fourth Saturday of the month, um, by appointment to set something up so that you can come in um, at a time where there's not a lot of people around and you can um, go through this process. And we do it just as it is in a Lutheran service book. We've given our members, every member has um, one of these. So you can look at page 292 and 293 and you will see exactly what it is that we're doing. And especially right now, I vary very little uh, from this. Um, I, I, don't, um, I don't try to turn this into a counseling session. Not that I'm not willing to sit down and talk with you and help you brainstorm through ways that you maybe can improve your lives and stuff like that. If I can help with that, I wanna help with that. But that's not what this is. This is just you coming with the sins that you're struggling with and hearing Christ's forgiveness. It really is that simple. Everything that you share is completely, absolutely private because when God forgives your sins, those sins are forgotten. They're gone. They're washed away. There's no bringing it back. Um, so there's complete, absolute privacy with everything that you say, um, without exception, without exception. So um, I want to invite you to turn to page 292 and 293. Take a look at this. And if you have questions about how this works, um, don't just be afraid of it. Um, give me a call, stop by sometime, we can go through it. Not, not to go through it as confession absolution, but just so you understand it or are comfortable with it. Um, but we've been offering this since January and it is now July. And I think we have had uh, five people, thanks be to God, right? But we've had five people who have taken advantage of this. So. So I just wanted to bring it up again and let you know um, I'm not offering this. The church doesn't offer this because these other things aren't sufficient. We're offering it because God's desire is to show mercy, is to forgive, and he provides forgiveness in a whole bunch of different ways. And this is one of them. And it is of great value. Another place that you can look if you want to understand it better is go back to your small catechism um, where it talks about confession absolution and the office of the holy ministry. Um, that little section, the six chief parts, um, will direct you to a whole bunch of different places in the scriptures uh, that'll help you better understand why um, why we why we need to to take this back, um, even because we did kind of lose it in in most of our congregations in our church body. Um, it's different than what you um, are used to seeing in movies and and from maybe what you know from Roman Catholic friends. Um, this is this is not exactly the same thing. We're thankful to our brothers and sisters in the Roman Catholic Church that do 
um, kind of continue this, um, but they they add something that really shouldn't be added. And we can talk about that sometime another time. That's not the primary purpose of this video. I just want you to know this is being offered. This is why the room is here. And um, perfectly consider, if you're a member at Concordia, um, taking some time and, and making this a part of um, part of your your routine, part of your schedule. Um, it is indeed a, a gift from God and, and will be a blessing for you. Um, have questions? You can put it in the comments or you can give me a call. Otherwise, I will see you for the divine service. God himself is coming to give you the gifts of forgiveness, life, and salvation through his son, Jesus Christ, who is truly present at the altar where you receive the, his body and blood. You get to hear the words of forgiveness from Christ himself. You get to hear both the law and the gospel uh, from God and from his word. Um, that's all this Sunday at 1030. Um, we hope that you'll join us. And if you would like, we're finishing up in the next two or three weeks our study on the formula of Concord. Um, this Sunday this Sunday is a big one. We're talking about, well, you're going to miss it, though, because you're not getting this till Monday. Well, you just missed a really, really good class. Um, but we're not done yet. Um, we're going to look at a couple more articles. Um, and I have all that stuff, by the way, if you're interested in the Bible study. I have handouts for every single one of those um, that might be helpful if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the formula of Concord. Um, God bless you all, and God bless your week.